This book is also known as Extra Legal Lawyer and Lawyer Qiansheng Su Bai as a lawyer with a winning rate of up to 99% traveled to a parallel world. Other lawyers file lawsuits. As long as you don't lose. Su Bai faces lawsuit. Winning a lawsuit is not a simple matter. Other lawyers were submissive to the presiding judge, and Su Bai launched a fierce attack. Presiding judge, I think you misunderstood this law. While other lawyers were still working hard to win the case, Su Bai had already sent the opposing lawyer in. The judge angrily rebuked in court, I advise you to restrain yourself. Su Bai spoke calmly, Judge, did I interpret any of the laws incorrectly? Do you have any opinions on me, Judge? Hmm. Do you want to go in? Since then, there has been a rule in the legal world that there is no text. As long as the opposing lawyer is Su Bai, they advise you to give up and not disobey the advice. Novel Keyword You become a lawyer and send a judge in. No pop-ups, you became a lawyer and sent the judge in. Download the complete set of TXT, did you become a lawyer and send the judge in? Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Senior Lawyers You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Senior Lawyers, How Big Is It? 36 What I'm asking is how old the mistress is. Oh, my mistress is in his early twenties. It seems like he's still in college. Damn it, he's really shameless. What's wrong with being young? He must seduce other husbands. A well-maintained woman kept cursing and describing her husband's various cheating behaviors. Not long after, a little bit reacted and asked again, what is the age of the mistress? According to the criminal law, anyone who engages in an improper relationship with a girl under the age of 14, whether voluntarily or not, will be sentenced. That's a pity. The woman smacked her tongue with a regretful expression and continued to berate her cheating husband. Su Bai listened attentively, recording the key information in the woman's mouth. After finishing, she used a pen to scribble on the notebook. Until half an hour later, the woman spoke with a dry mouth and said, Is there any water? I want to drink some water. Su Bai proficiently handed out a bottle of mineral water and listened to the woman's tearful description for half an hour. Finally, the woman seemed a bit tired and wiped away her non existent tears. Lawyer, may I ask if I can let the other party leave the house clean if they have an affair? Su Bai glanced at the key information she had recorded. According to the legal basis, it is not possible. Under certain conditions, property division will take care of you. However, if you file a lawsuit with our law firm, you can receive 70% of the marital common property. Should you consider taking legal action? Well, that dog man is cheap. Thank you to the lawyer, but I don't plan to divorce at the moment. Let's talk about it when we need it. So why are you saying so much? Su Bai rubbed her temples, trying to maintain her demeanor as a lawyer. Lawyer, you look quite handsome. When I chat with you, I feel a lot happier and unconsciously chat more. Just because of my handsome appearance, he forced me to chat for two and a half hours. Su Bai's mentality is a bit tense. This is a law firm, not a chat room. A male model is still several hundred years old in an hour, but he still loses money when combined. You're welcome, the consultation fee is 35 yuan. Thank you. Su Bai spoke helplessly, and the woman warmly waved her hand. I'll come back when I have time. Goodbye, lawyer. Watching the woman twist her waist and leave the law firm, Su Bai withdrew her gaze and focused her attention on the 35 balance she had just received, sighing slightly. I didn't expect to cross over and become a professional divorce reception and consultation lawyer. Su Bai is a time traveler who was originally a lawyer with nearly 12 years of experience, serving as a partner at the gold medal law firm. In my career, I have a winning rate of 99.9%, .9 and the only game I lost was in the courtroom where I won and lost my life. I didn't lose on the court, I lost off the court. After waking up, 
I found that I had traveled to the parallel world of Blue Star, and now it is the fifteenth day of my journey. I have now basically integrated into the living environment of Blue Star. The good news is that the legal regulations here are no different from the original planet, and his insights and knowledge of the law are useful. The original owner also left behind a personal law firm specializing in marriage counseling. The bad news is that the business is temporarily unavailable and there are no cases at all. Apart from divorce counseling, divorce counseling is also divorce counseling. By the way, a big lawyer like him can easily take on a big case and file a lawsuit, right? But now Su Bai's external identity is only a lawyer who has been practicing for a long time, but has not won several lawsuits. It's not an exaggeration to say it's a vegetable chicken. Who came to sue vegetable chicken? Which law firm wants vegetable chicken? This won't work. The rent for next month hasn't been settled yet. Looking at the balance of 1,860 yuan and 57 cents prompted by the bank card text message, Su Bai frowned slightly. I really can't work in a different industry. You can still make a living by relying on your face. But remembering the abnormal needs of the rich woman, Su Bai felt a chill in her lower body and gave up in an instant, it is impossible to work, as there is no money to spend without working. Su Bai fell into a helpless entanglement and at that moment, a voice suddenly came to mind. Your madman system has been launched, please choose to receive it, forced installation in progress, distribute a beginner's gift package, complete 10 legal consulting services or undertake one case, and reward 50,000 yuan in cash, system. Newcomer gift package rewards 50,000 cash directly for completing 10 consultations or one case. Equivalent to 5,000 yuan per consultation. Not bad solved the financial troubles, Su Bai's whole life became much easier. Now you only need to complete 10 consultations or undertake one case, and you'll get 50,000 yuan. 50,000 yuan is enough to support the law firm for at least half a year. Waiting for 10 consultations or taking on one case. Don't worry about rent, Su Bai leisurely brewed a pot of tea with an old banjong weighing 9.93 pounds. Just as Su Bai was leisurely sipping tea, the door to the law firm was pushed open, and an elderly couple supporting each other walked in slowly. If we estimate by appearance, we should be around 70 years old. This shouldn't be for divorce counseling, right? Su Bai put down her tea cup and suddenly had a thought in her mind. She looked up and down and found that her relationship was harmonious. She was older, so she came to the case. Adhering to the principle that customers are God, Su Bai welcomed her and began her self-introduction. Hello, this is by June Law Firm. Our law firm can handle civil representation and criminal defense. I am the head of this law firm, and I am not sure who the two are. The old lady spoke first, slightly because of her age, with a trembling voice. Are you a lawyer? Yes, I am the lawyer and person in charge here. May I ask if you are here for legal consultation or if you want to file a lawsuit and hire a lawyer, we're going to file a lawsuit. There's a case coming. This is still the first case that Su Bai has traveled through, and there will inevitably be some turbulence in his heart. May I ask what lawsuit are you going to file? Criminal case or civil case? The old lady hesitated and glanced at her husband. Su Bai noticed this slight change in her expression and knew it was because she was worried that her law firm might not be reliable. Arriving in front of the old lady, two small white teeth were exposed, increasing the sense of familiarity. No matter what case, sit in and talk about it first. Don't worry, our law firm has just opened and the prices are reasonable and reasonable. We won't overcharge. Why don't you two come and sit down for a while and talk about this case first? Free. The old man nodded as he looked at Su Bai and said, The chief lawyer is very clean and doesn't look like an unscrupulous lawyer. Let's go sit down first. Su Bai tugged at the corner of her mouth, What does it mean that she doesn't look like an unscrupulous lawyer? It's okay, the law firm can't take on any cases now, 
there's no money to spend, the customer is God, let's just praise him. After the two elderly people sat on the sofa, Su Bai placed two bottles of mineral water on the table and sat solemnly across from them, inquiring about the specific situation of the elderly couple's lawsuit. Civil or Criminal Cases End of this chapter 2. Chapter 2 Public Prosecution Cases I did it. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Public Prosecution Cases I did it. The old lady and the old man exchanged glances with each other. The old man spoke slowly. The lawsuit we are filing is a criminal case. Can you provide a specific introduction? Robbing a bank is suspected of major robbery. I would like to hire a lawyer to defend myself, preferably with a reduced sentence. Sue Bai turned her head and glanced at the old man, robbing the bank. Grandpa, have you ever worked as a security guard in a village within the city? It's not me, it's my son, the old man quickly explained. Sue Bai nodded. It's pretty much the same. Otherwise, with the help of this old man's body and bones, not to mention robbing the bank, even the bank security guards would have to be careful when they see the old man come to rob, fearing that one could harm the old man's legs and feet. Robbing banks has already involved the issue of criminal prosecution, and such cases are generally not easy to handle, but what Sue by wants is a difficult one. Make the law firm famous. Briefly introduce the case and your demands. Su Bai's expression is serious and serious. Hey, the old man let out a deep sigh and described the general process of the entire case. Su Bai listened while recording key information, occasionally stopping to ask some key questions. After two hours of case description and inquiry, Su Bai finally understood the general process of the case and some basic information. The old man's name is Wang Zizhong, and the old woman's name is Zhang Tsuifang. Both of them are retired workers from the local area of Nandu. They are elderly and have a son, and they have an only child. The process of the case was for the old man's son to go to the bank to withdraw money to treat the old man's illness, and to withdraw his savings. Since it is not me, the bank requires the son of the old man to prove that he is the old man's son, holding an ID card, household registration book, and a critical illness notice is not acceptable. The bank staff spoke fiercely and insisted that the old man personally go to prove that the old man's son was his son, otherwise he would not be allowed to withdraw. But the old man is waiting for money to save his life in the ICU. How can I prove it? Is it difficult to get up from the hospital bed and walk briskly to the bank to prove that his son is his son? How can I still withdraw some damn money like this? A direct medical miracle. And just as the old man's son was arguing with the bank staff, a few robbers came and directly robbed the bank. Upon learning that the old man's son needed money to save his life, without hesitation, he distributed a portion of the stolen money to the old man's son. At that time, the old man's son didn't care too much and took the money directly to the hospital. Afterwards, a group of people were arrested, and the old man's son was identified as an accomplice due to taking money. He was convicted of a major robbery crime, and due to the severity of the incident, he was severely punished. And because the old man's son had a reason for the incident, the punishment was reduced and the maximum term of imprisonment was imposed, with a fine and confiscation of illegal gains. After a detailed investigation, Su Bai learned that the current public security in Blue Star was equivalent to around 2000, and such audacious behavior was quite common in the public security at that time. Later, the old man filed an appeal again, but unfortunately the second trial was unsuccessful and the verdict of the first trial was upheld. Now, we have entered the final stage of the trial. Once the final verdict of life and death is reached, no appeal can be filed, and the case is finalized. Su Bai frowned slightly as she listened to the old man's description. If she applied for a second trial, she would need to submit a new defense argument. This case was sentenced to 20 years in prison, but it's actually quite heavy. With new evidence, how can the first instance verdict be upheld? How can the second instance uphold the first instance verdict? 
The Lawyer's Question Speaking of the lawyer in the second trial, the old man was so angry that his dentures spurted out. CTM's unscrupulous lawyer. Refund. Sue Bai retreated and avoided the grandfather's dentures, saying, Grandpa, don't get excited. If you have anything to say, let's talk slowly and don't engage in physical attacks. Wang Zizhong felt a little embarrassed and put his dentures back in place, calming his mood a lot. However, his tone was still full of anger. The last time we looked for a top law firm in Nandu, the lawyer in the second instance even claimed to be a top lawyer in some criminal case and demanded a lawyer's fee of 188,000 yuan. As a result, he only said three words in court. Mmm. Good, we accept the presiding judge's trial. Three sentences earned me 188,000 yuan in lawyer's fees, is that a golden mouth? One sentence costs over 60,000 yuan. Wang Zizhong was trembling with anger. Zhang Tsuifen on the side quickly patted Wang Zizhong's back and added. Lawyer Su, this case has a significant impact. We heard that if the final trial is to be held, it may be conducted through live streaming. We don't trust big law firms anymore, and many small law firms are unwilling to take on this case. This case. Is the impact of the case significant? Do we still need to adopt the form of online live streaming court hearings? Isn't it proper to advertise for the law firm? Connect, it must be connected. There's nothing that can't be accepted. He's a lawless maniac like Su Bai. Can he still lose this case? Without any hesitation, Su Bai spared no effort to take on this case and waved his hand, saying, I can take on this case and assure you that if your son's sentence has not been reduced or if you are not satisfied with the reduction, I do not want any lawyer's fees. If there is no reduction in sentence or if you are not satisfied with the reduction, do you directly waive the lawyer's fee? Thinking of those three sentences, Wang Zizhong thought that Su Bai, who had earned a gold medal lawyer of 188,000 yuan, was a conscientious lawyer. You're such a good lawyer. The responsibility lies in not being an unscrupulous lawyer. So let's sign the contract. Su Bai tentatively spoke up, and Wang Zizhong agreed on the spot. Sign, get signed. Su Bai was also not ambiguous. On the spot, he found a contract template and after a general communication with Wang Zizhong, he drafted the content of the contract and printed it out. Lawyer fees are calculated based on the final judgment of the sentence, and 5,000 lawyer fees are paid for every year of sentence reduction. If the sentence is not reduced, only basic lawyer service fees need to be paid. Compared to that golden-mouthed lawyer, it's already a fair price. This is also because Su Bai deliberately lowered the lawyer's fees in order to establish the reputation of the law firm. After Su Bai signed the contract, he handed it to Wang Zizhong, who did not hesitate to sign his own name. At the moment when I finish writing. The systematic prompts rang in Su Bai's mind. Congratulations to the host for completing the task of accepting a case, with a reward of 50,000 cash. The cash will be transferred to your account through legal means task to be completed. Win the lawsuit and reward the bronze treasure chest after seeing off the old couple Wang Zizhong, Su Bai kept staring at her bank account, wanting to see how the system used legal means to transfer the 50,000 yuan into her account. Not long after, a message appeared in the message prompt box. Lawyer Su, the last time I had a marriage consultation with you, thank you for your advice. I followed your advice and told my husband, Sai, this domestic violence man has finally agreed to divorce. I'll transfer you 50,000 yuan to express my gratitude and make an appointment when I have time. Looking at the five-digit transfer, Su Bai was stunned for a moment. Is this okay? End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Input How could you possibly lose? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Input How could you possibly lose? On the information page, a five-digit transfer is displayed it is indeed reasonable and legal to transfer 50,000 cash into the account. Okay, the system is impressive. 
Just make a big prediction. Su Bai accepted 50,000 yuan and made a few polite remarks to the customer. Bring the materials and prepare to go to the court to copy the file. At this moment, the law firm walked in with a young and innocent girl who looked young when walking with a bun on her head. More precisely, she is a female student. Why are you so certain? Because he saw a foolish clarity in the other person's eyes. Is divorce coming? It doesn't look like it. Before Su Bai could speak, the other party bowed 70 degrees and said, Hello lawyer Su, I'm here to report. Su Bai worked hard to recall and finally found the information about this girl in the original owner's memory. The female college student in front of me is a student from Nandu University of Law, named Li Xuezhen. It was the intern lawyer who was previously recruited by the original owner and did not have an internship salary. Today, when reporting, Su Bai forgot about this matter. Here we go. Just right, tidy up a little and come with me to the court. Li Xuezhen was originally a top student in the fourth year of the law department at Nandu University of Law. She learned from top experts in the legal field, and her senior brothers and sisters were distributed throughout top red circles, courts, and top corporate legal advisors. As a top student in the legal field, especially a beloved closed-door disciple among teachers, senior brothers, and sisters. During the internship, senior brothers and sisters, including her teacher, wanted to arrange her internship destination. The court, the red circle office, as long as she wants to go, it's a matter of one sentence. It's just that Li Xuezhen has her own ideas. She doesn't want to rely on her teachers and the connections of her senior brothers and sisters, but rather wants to establish a foothold in the legal field with her own abilities. Worried about encountering my senior brothers and sisters at a large law firm and being caught back, I submitted my resume to a small law firm to work for free, preparing to first experience and hone my abilities. Upon hearing that she was about to go to court to prove herself, Li Xuezhen's eyes lit up and she said, Good lawyer Su. On the way to Nandu Intermediate Court. Lawyer Su, what case are we handling this time? Is going to court to coordinate. Li Xuezhen, who was officially handling the case for the first time, had some longing for the entire process of handling the case and couldn't help but speak up to inquire. Su Bai is also patient with the sudden emergence of a free intern lawyer. After all, some of the tasks of running errands later had to be handed over to Li Xuezhen, especially since the other party was still free, which made him feel guilty about being a capitalist. The criminal case I just received has reached the final stage of trial. When I go to the court, I will retrieve the files and first see how the first and second trials are judged. Criminal case Having been exposed to criminal cases for the first time, Li Xuezhen, who had always longed to become a criminal lawyer, felt a bit excited. My heart was floating, but I stabilized and didn't continue to inquire. I silently followed Su Bai to the court. Su Bai was very familiar with the court's procedures, and upon arriving at the relevant location, she specifically found a female staff member. Hello, I would like to retrieve the file. Ah. Uh, Okay, okay, please show me your materials. The impatient female staff member saw such a handsome lawyer coming, and her enthusiasm for service also increased significantly. After Su Bai submitted the relevant materials to prove the information, they only copied the files of the first and second trials in half an hour. There's no way, working as a lawyer also relies on face, which can save a lot of trouble. After receiving the file, Su Bai casually handed it to Li Xuezhen and said, Pack it up first, don't lose it, and look at it when you return to the office. Good lawyer Su. Li Xuezhen carefully picked up the file and put it in her bag. After returning to the office, Su Bai took out the files from the first trial and handed over the files from the second trial to Li Xuezhen. Please summarize the litigation issues raised by the second instance prosecution, and I will review them later. Okay lawyer Su. But the defense opinions and litigation issues of our own lawyers are also important. Don't we need to summarize them? Li Xuezhen's eyes were innocent and she raised a question. What's good about Jean Zui's speech? 
Su Bai shook her head and said, look at the file first. Li Xuezhen nodded, did not continue to ask, lowered her head and flipped through the file. When she flipped through the first page of the file, she understood why Su Bai didn't let her summarize her lawyer's defense opinion. In theory, the litigation issue of our own lawyer is also very important, but Li Xuezhen has seen this case before. Because this case was judged by one of her senior sisters who had graduated for many years as the presiding judge. At that time, her senior sister, as the presiding judge of the second trial, also felt that the verdict on this case was a bit heavy in the first trial. I also thought that if the defendant, Wang Zizhong's lawyer, could provide any good defense opinions, I could consider changing the sentence to a reduced one. Unexpectedly, the lawyer would only nod and say three words when facing questions from the plaintiff's lawyer and the presiding judge. Nima, isn't this the lawyer who cheated money? In the end, the original verdict was upheld. Li Xuezhen is a bit worried that the judgments of the first and second trials, like others, will affect the application for a final judgment. At the same time, the judgments of the first and second trials are the same, which also has a significant impact on the final judgment, unless there is any critical or disruptive new evidence structure. Otherwise, it is highly likely that the original verdict of the first instance will be upheld. As an intern lawyer on my own, shouldn't my first case just end so prematurely? Li Xuezhen felt a bit uneasy in her heart. She had deliberately paid attention to the prosecution lawyer for this case, and it is said to be very aggressive. The internal legal department of the bank has also stated that if the other party appeals again, it will be taken seriously. She also specifically asked her senior brother who specializes in handling criminal cases, and the answer she received was that the bank's legal department has put in a lot of effort. Without subversive evidence in debate, there is no way to win the case. Not only is there a possibility of losing the case, but there is also a possibility of severe punishment. The first case encountered was aborted a wave of despair permeated Li Xuezhen's heart Su by closed the file and had a clear idea in his mind. After reading the file, the verdict of this case in his mind was already very close. Let's go. Li Xuezhen was just immersed in the despair of not being able to win the lawsuit, but was suddenly interrupted by Su Bai, and now she was in a fog. Let's go. Where are we going? This case has almost been determined. Go to meet Wang Zizhong's son and the suspect and listen to what they say. Are you going to lose? We haven't started the lawsuit yet, and this case is indeed quite difficult. Lawyer Su, you need to be strong. Su Bai. Just kidding, he didn't input this word in his dictionary. Lose. Wang Zizhong's son didn't even rob, how could he possibly lose? Ah. No robbery. Lawyer Su. What does that mean? I'll know when the trial starts, it's temporarily confidential. Subai's lips curved slightly, full of confidence, and she took steps. Although Li Xuezhen was curious about Subai's words, she didn't continue to ask, and Duang Duang jogged along. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. In a lawsuit, one must also be worldly wise. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 4. In a lawsuit, one must also be worldly wise. The case of Wang Li, the son of Wang Zizhong, has always been controversial. After losing the first and second trials, the court has not yet made a formal ruling. Wang Li is still being detained in a detention center. On the way to the detention center, Passing by a convenience store, Su Bai asked Li Xuezhen to wait outside first. She walked in on her own and within two minutes, carrying two bags of huazi, walked out. Li Xuezhen watched curiously as Su Bai put two packs of cigarettes into her inner pocket. Lawyer Su, do you smoke? Su Bai shook her head and said, no smoking, but you can't do it without it. Do you understand human relationships and worldly wisdom? You'll know later. Li Xuezhen nodded thoughtfully. Arriving outside the detention center, 
Su Bai tidied up her suit and didn't go straight in until she saw a burly man in law enforcement attire walking out of the detention center and groping in his pocket in a corner. Su Bai walked up and handed a lighter, saying, Brother, can you accompany me? As he spoke, he took out a flower from his pocket, tore open the packaging, and skillfully knocked out a flower. The burly man was stunned for a moment and said, Brother, you're so skilled in smoking. Then I'll take one. One by one. Su Bai shook the cigarette box. The man smiled generously and took it over. After igniting the Hua Zi, he took a deep breath and said, This Hua Zi is good. Brother, are you here to handle a case? Yes, I'm a lawyer. I'm here to investigate a case and I want to apply to see the suspect. The case is a bit urgent, and our process here is a bit slow. We need to wait for some time. Take advantage of this time and smoke a cigarette to get some fresh air. The man slammed his thigh and said, The process is slow, but you can just tell me not to. When I see the affection of my brother accompanying me, I can do whatever I say today. Have you brought all the materials? Bring it all together. Su Bai waved his hand and asked Li Xuezhen to bring the materials over. The burly man roughly glanced at the materials and nodded with a smile, the materials are almost ready. Brother, you can go to the service hall and wait first. Thank you, brother. Su Bai waved her hand. You're welcome, it's all brothers. After the man left, Li Xuezhen was surprised to see this operation. Is this okay? Lawyer Su, is this considered a violation of the law? Su Bai. This little girl is not open-dot-minded. It seems necessary to popularize it well. What does it mean to knowingly violate the law? Your interpretation of this legal issue is not accurate. Do we have any interest transactions? Are we not following the normal procedures? All processes are in accordance with the rules and regulations, it's just accelerating the progress. Where is there any illegal behavior? Can you think about this clearly? Li Xuezhen nodded seriously and said, I understand lawyer Su. Isn't this called worldly wisdom? Su Bai gave a look of praise, not bad, you can teach. It's normal for college students to not understand when they first come out for internships, but they just need to learn slowly. Fighting a lawsuit not only requires interpreting the law in court, but also requires some other skills, such as today's understanding of human relationships. The process of a case is very complicated. Su Bai and Li Xuezhen stayed in the waiting room of the detention center for about half an hour when a guard arrived in front of Su Bai, who was not the same person as the law enforcement officer just now. Are you lawyer Su Bai from Bai Jun Law Firm? For me. Su Bai stood up and said. Well, your application has been approved. Please prepare a little, and we will summon the suspect later. Okay, thank you. Su Bai politely thanked him, and soon Wang Li was summoned. Su Bai brought Li Xuezhen to the summoning room. After the law enforcement officers left, Su Bai smiled and spoke up. Hello, I am your authorized lawyer for this case, Su Bai. Wang Zizhong and his wife are old and have a son. They only had Wang Li as their only child at the age of 38, and now Wang Li is only in his early 30s. Wang Li's spirit is very poor. After going through the first and second trials, the half-hearted old man in the detention center popularized some legal knowledge to himself, and Wang Li had no hope of reducing his sentence. Looking up at Su Bai with no trace of energy in his eyes, he said, Hello lawyer, do you think I still have a chance? Su Bai's lips curved slightly and said, There is definitely an opportunity. I have promised your parents that if you cannot win the lawsuit or if you cannot reduce your sentence, there will be no lawyer fees. Wang Li suddenly looked up and said, Really? Aren't you deceiving me? If you can't win, there won't be any legal fees. Are you confident in winning the lawsuit? Su Bai took out the signed commission contract and said, This is the settlement issue regarding lawyer fees in the commission contract. You can take a look. 
Wang Li flipped through the commission contract and realized that he was not willing to sue, did not reduce his sentence, and did not pay any money. However, when he thought about what his brother in the detention center had said, Wang Li fell into despair. Lawyer Su, I believe you are not an unscrupulous lawyer, but you may not be able to afford this lawyer's fee. Since I have chosen to take on this case, I definitely have a certain degree of confidence. There is no problem winning the lawsuit. I will ask if you want to reduce your sentence and be released from prison. As long as you cooperate well, the issue of reducing your sentence is not significant. The degree of reduction depends mainly on your own attitude. Sue Bai's lips slightly curved, and she had full confidence in this case. Cooperate, I'll cooperate. Seeing Sue Bai so confident, Wang Li nodded heavily, and a glimmer of hope ignited in his heart. Su Bai signaled to Li Xuezhen to make a written record and began to inquire about the details of the case and the relevant answers during the first and second trial. Half an hour later, Su Bai walked out of the detention center with satisfaction, and everything she wanted to confirm had already been confirmed. We're ready to file a lawsuit. Return to the law firm. Su Bai simply processed the materials for the trial and called Li Xuezhen to the office. The so.called called office is just a small independent space separated by a few pieces of cloth inside the office, without any sound barriers. Notify Mr. and Mrs. Wang Zizhong that they are ready to apply for the final review, and you should also prepare the materials for the final review. Applying for final review. That requires new evidence, Lawyer Su. What is our lawsuit request? I have prepared the litigation evidence and request, you just need to make a trip. Su Bai submitted the organized materials to Li Xuezhen. Li Xuezhen opened it and looked, rubbing her eyes with uncertainty. Isn't it a bit too aggressive for lawyer Su to submit like this? This case should have been exposed aggressively. If it's not aggressive, you can go out and handle it. Li Xuezhen walked out of the office with a skeptical step towards life. She looked at the application materials handed to her by Su Bai again, took a deep breath, and confirmed something in her heart. She really came to the right law firm. If she really wins the lawsuit, then following Su Bai can also be considered as taking her first step and establishing herself in the legal field. Chan Lake, End of this Chapter 5, Chapter 5 Taking the Bank to Court by Backhand you are listening at NovelFull.Audio. Chapter 5 Backhand bringing banks to courtly Shuezhen came to this law firm with the intention of starting from a small law firm and gradually becoming famous in the legal world with her true abilities. If this bank prosecution case can be won, then as an intern lawyer, she can also be considered involved. The more I think, the more excited I become, full of energy. Running around law firms and courts every day. Even those who do not receive wages are full of spirit. Su Bai could only sigh that young people of this age, especially interning lawyers, are truly full of hope. After taking a sip of 9,993 pounds of Mao Jian, his sense of guilt as a capitalist was slightly reduced. Shortly thereafter, the final trial of the case of Wang Zizhong's son Wang Li was submitted and the application was approved. At the same time, the court summons also arrived at the bank's legal department. Internally, after receiving notice from the court, the bank was somewhat surprised. Accusing the bank for improper operations, resulting in the client Wang Li being sentenced, requesting compensation for personal and mental damages, with a cost of 200,000 yuan. What? What does this mean? In the case of Wang Li, their bank, as the victim, did not request the court to deal with him seriously, and now they have received a court summons from the other party to sue them. Isn't this pure and funny? Is the robbery still reasonable? The person in charge of Nandu Bank is extremely angry about this matter. The other party has already bullied them, uncle and aunt can't bear it immediately contacted the legal department to handle this matter seriously and seriously. The legal department immediately held a meeting to discuss the lawsuit. Originally, the legal lawyer of Nandu Bank thought the other party was a big law firm, 
but after investigation, it was found that the other party's litigation law firm was only a marriage consulting law firm, so I couldn't help but laugh. What does this mean? Are you crazy? A small marriage counseling law firm can handle criminal cases, but now they even initiate lawsuits against our bank. Is this too much of a desire to become famous? Ha ha ha, this is simply a joke. Just take a look at it as a clown. It's probably because this law firm wants to become famous and wants to use this extreme way to attract attention. I really don't understand. How could a marriage counseling lawyer be too embarrassed to take on a criminal prosecution case? Another scammer. Who knows? All right. Everyone, stop talking. Su Jichiang, the minister of the legal department of Nandu Bank, had a national face and was not intimidated but angry. His words fell, and the conference room, which had just been filled with high voices, instantly fell silent. The bank leaders attach great importance to our lawsuit this time and must win. Winning is not the most crucial thing, the key is to win beautifully, and it is best to sentence the other party a heavier sentence. Do you understand? Sitting here are all legal personnel who are proficient in banking laws, and they don't pay much attention to Bai Jun Law Firm. Minister, according to the information, Bai Jun Law Firm is only a personal law firm and still a law firm primarily focused on consulting. Lawyer Su Bai, who has been practicing for five years, has fought a total of five lawsuits, lost four, and although he won one, he won very miserably. If our client's joint property is preserved, but they are charged with bigamy, is it a shame if our legal team cannot win with such a lawyer? A male lawyer who appeared to be in his early twenties spoke arrogantly. Others agreed. If this kind of person wins, then our bank's reputation will be completely ruined. Win. What did he win with? The lawyer in the bank's legal department is very arrogant and completely looks down on such a small consulting law firm. And they applied to the court for a live trial, requesting that Wang Li's final appeal and the lawsuit against the bank be jointly tried. This case is very rare and quickly attracted the attention of the Southern Metropolitan High Court, which received its consent. It is closely related to the operation of banks. At the same time, Based on the unique characteristics of this case, the topic of robbing money to save my father and being sentenced to 20 years in prison can easily create a viral sensation on the internet. During the first and second trials of the Wang Li case, public opinion was brewing online. Now that the final verdict has arrived, public opinion about the Wang Li case is gradually emerging on the internet. TMD, why have banks become a vulnerable group now? When withdrawing money, it's important to ask for credit cards and support Wang Li. If it weren't for the bank's troubles, Wang Li would have withdrawn money to save his father long ago, and there was no need to rob the bank. Yeah, when saving money, the bank staff are like my grandson, and when withdrawing money, I am like my grandson. I support you. You don't understand the pain of banks at all. In fact, banks also have their own difficulties. Otherwise, why do you think every time a bank encounters a major problem of withdrawing or losing money, it is the fault of temporary workers? In fact, we can't blame the bank for this matter. If we want to blame it, we can blame temporary workers, 50 cents per piece. Upstairs, please help me join the group. I also want to earn this money. The online public opinion is simply blaming the banks. The person in charge of Nandu Bank was infuriated by the online public opinion and issued a death order. This time, the court live broadcast must win the lawsuit, and we must also achieve victory in public opinion. If it's not possible, then replace all the personnel in the legal department. Within by June Law Firm. Sue by happily scrolled through the video, watching the online public opinion tilt to one side, with a slight smile on her lips. At present, the lawsuit between Nandu Bank and Wang Li's final verdict has attracted widespread attention. Winning, the law firm is famous. If you lose, the law firm will be expelled. Li Xuezhen looked at the public opinion on the internet, mixed with joy and sorrow. On the one hand, there was such a big commotion. 
If she won, she would definitely become famous. But if you lose, it's a big stain. Lawyer Sue, our law firm has caused such a big uproar this time. Sue Bai sat on the recliner and looked up, blocked by a piece of clothing. She tilted her head slightly to see Li Xuezhen's face. Without any contingency, have you sorted out the recent cases of Nandu Bank and the contact information of the victims that I asked you to organize? It's already sorted out. Show me. Li Xuezhen handed the materials to Su Bai. Su Bai flipped the materials directly to the contact information page of the victim in the bank lawsuit. Then start making phone calls at the first number. Hello, I am a lawyer from Bai Jun Law Firm. I heard that you have sued Nandu Bank before, but lost the case. Would you be interested in seeing how Nandu Bank lost the case? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Dot. Okay, thank you for your support. After hanging up the phone, I called the second contact again. Using the same language. Li Xuezhen looked at Su Bai with a hint of surprise in her eyes. Can we still search for witnesses in this way? End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Court Session You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Court Session Li Xuezhen couldn't quite understand Su Bai's behavior, which was completely different from what was taught in school. Hmm how to put it, it feels very informal but also very effective. She doesn't see much of a professional lawyer's demeanor from Su Bai, but she has learned a lot. Human wisdom counts as one, today finding witnesses counts as one, and together they make up two. They are all very useful. Don't be in a daze, come over and make a phone call together quickly. I can't finish making so many calls. Li Xuezhen came to her senses when she heard Su Bai's voice. Oh, okay, okay. At ten o'clock at night. After completing this task, Su Bai took a sip of tea and took a long breath, and all the preparations were finally completed. There is no risk, now we are waiting for a lawsuit. The court's out-of-court mediation was not unexpected, but Nandu Bank refused the possibility of mediation and threatened to win the lawsuit. Su Bai disdained such threats. Who wouldn't say big things outside of court? You can easily understand what society is when you touch it in the courtroom. It's up to you to see if I'm tough or not. Time is fast, it's time for the court hearing. Because this case caused a lot of news on the internet, many journalists waited at the court gate before entering the court. As soon as the lawyer from Nandu Bank arrived, he was immediately surrounded by reporters. May I ask the legal staff of Nandu Bank, have you read the online discussions about this case? What is your chances of winning this case? May I ask how you view your rival law firm, by June Law Firm? May I ask your opinion on this case? The person presiding over this lawsuit is a young lawyer in his twenties in the legal department, named Liamo. Liamo coughed twice and looked confident. Regarding the inquiries from our journalist friends, what I want to say is that we have already understood the online comments from Nanda Bank, and we will explain them later. As for the probability of winning the lawsuit, there is no need to worry. I believe everyone has made a judgment on this. This trial will be conducted through live streaming. If you are interested, you can enter the live streaming to watch, as for the other party's law firm, you can search on Baidu. I can't give a good review here. After Lee M.O. finished speaking, he lifted his head and walked into the courtroom surrounded by a group of reporters, holding his head high and chest high. Compared to Lee Mo's legal affairs at Nandu Bank, Su Bai's side has become much quieter and almost unnoticed by journalists. Lawyer Su, there is a big difference in treatment between us. Li Xuezhen sighed. Su Bai raised her eyebrows and said, how big is the pay gap now, and how crazy the media coverage of slapping faces will be in the future. Don't worry about these things, let's go in. Mmm. Just as the two were about to enter the courtroom, a young female journalist who appeared to be young ran over with a camera on her own. Excuse me, are you Su Bai, a lawyer from Bai Jun Law Firm? I am. Are you? 
Hello, I am a reporter from Elephant Media. May I interview you? The young female journalist looks a bit nervous, possibly due to her recent employment. Su Bai raised the corner of her mouth slightly and said, Sure. The young female journalist breathed a sigh of relief and performed very professionally. Hello, lawyer Su Bai. I heard that the combined winning rate of the legal department of Nandu Bank in Nandu Court reached 86%. What do you think is the probability of your by June law firm winning this lawsuit, lawyer Su Bai? Cough cough. Su Bai coughed twice and tidied up her suit. We, by June law firm, have great confidence in the lawsuit against Nandu Bank and the final verdict of the case against Wang Li. We welcome everyone to entrust our by June law firm to file a lawsuit. What? The female journalist was stunned for a few seconds, feeling slightly depressed. It was all just advertising, but her professional ethics still kept her smiling. Here, I hope lawyer Sue can win the lawsuit and the law firm can also grow stronger. Thank you. Sue Bai smiled and turned around, taking Li Xuezhen into the court. Waiting for the trial stage. Li Xuezhen felt a little nervous and said, Lawyer Sue, this trial is a live broadcast trial. What if something happens? What if? There's no such thing as what if, unless it's the presiding judge's intentional misjudgment. If that's the case, then it's even more sensational. Su Bai's mouth curled up, indicating that Li Xuezhen should not worry about these things. In this parallel world, laws are highly valued and possess true sanctity. Everyone is equal before the law, and there is no judicial bias. If there is any objection, apply for reconsideration and see if the judges can enter, then the matter is settled. Judges generally strictly follow the provisions of the law. The presiding judge and Judge Su Bai have already understood about this trial. The presiding judge is a female judge, Yu Xia, the vice president of the Nandu court. I have a deep understanding of the law and have been in court for many years. I have presided over hundreds of trials and made well-founded judgments. The robbery at Nandu Bank this time was presided over by Tsai Xia. Su Bai has no worries about encountering unfair treatment, as Yu Tsai Xia is known for her fair trial. Li Xuezhen What does it mean? Don't worry about the meaning for now, we're ready for the trial. At this point, the staff had already arrived in front of Su Bai. After confirming their identity, they signaled that they could enter the venue. After both lawyers sat down, the clerk began to read out the court discipline. To maintain court discipline and maintain seriousness towards the court, the following court discipline is hereby read out. The parties, their litigation representatives, and observers must obey the presiding judge's command. Secondly, when judges enter the court and the presiding judge or sole judge declares the court verdict, all members should stand up. 3. Fourth. The reading is completed. Please have the presiding judge and judges appear in court. All stand up. Yutsaisha and two judges walked into the court and struck the hammer, saying, the court is now open. Then verify the basic personnel information. At the same time, many people are also paying attention to the live broadcast of the trial outside the court. Legal Office of Nandu Bank Wang Wu, the head of Nandu Bank, and Su Jiqiang, the Minister of Legal Affairs, are following the live broadcast. After seeing the court hearing, Wang Wu looked up and asked. Jiqiang, the trial has already begun. Not long after the trial, there are hundreds of people in the live broadcast room. Our bank's legal department cannot lose this time, do you understand? Su Jiqiang nodded with a smile and said, Wang Xing, you can rest assured. Our legal department has prepared very well this time. According to your requirements, our legal department not only cannot lose, but also needs to win, at least to suppress public opinion. Mmm. Not bad. Wang Wu nodded in satisfaction. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. This lawsuit, are we going to snatch the bank again? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7. This lawsuit, 
are we going to snatch the bank again? This trial is a live broadcast trial, and there are many media outlets promoting it online, putting tremendous pressure on Nandu Bank. If you lose the trial, it will have serious consequences for the reputation of Nandu Bank. Won Wu, the head of Nandu Bank, will also be seriously affected. So, you can't lose. The live broadcast of the trial was not only watched by relevant personnel from Nandu Bank, but also by many media outlets that reposted the live broadcast, after all, this trial was quite popular. Taking advantage of the popularity is still good for the media. One of the well-known legal commentators was live streaming, explaining the scene of the trial over and over again. At the current trial site, the judge is verifying the information of the parties and their lawyers' representatives, which is a normal process of the trial. The one on the left is the legal lawyer of the defendant Nanda Bank, and the one on the right is the lawyer of the plaintiff by June Law Firm. As this is a joint case and trial, there is also a prosecution lawyer on the left. The legal reviewer shook his head slightly as he watched the live broadcast of the trial. It may be difficult for Bai Jun Law Firm to win the lawsuit, but there is still a certain chance for the party's sentences to be reduced. Below are all the comments. Indeed, although I spiritually hope that Bai Jun Law Firm can win, it seems unlikely. After all, this is a lawsuit against the bank. Ah, uh, what I said makes sense, but I still can't accept it. Everyone in the comment section is not optimistic, and suddenly a comment appears. Do you think there will be a miracle, such as the lawyer from by June Law Firm on the right actually being a hidden big shot? Next, there will be a rebuttal. Difficult. Look at which lawyer is so young, it's difficult to win the lawsuit. Legal commentator Luo Dashyang nodded slightly and said, it's really difficult to win this case. Let's not make any further comments. Let's continue reading. During the trial, if there are any parts that I don't understand, I will interpret them. In court. After verifying the information, Yutsaishia struck the hammer. Now we request the plaintiff to state the facts and reasons, as well as the appeal request. Su Bai sat in the lawyer's seat, knowing that the critical moment had arrived. She tidied up her suit a bit and verbally recounted her complaint. Our demands are very simple. Firstly, we are not satisfied with the judgment of the first and second trials. Our party was falsely accused of robbery despite not committing a crime. We appeal to revoke the judgment of the first and second trials, apply to cancel the original judgment, and return our client with a clear conscience. Secondly, we apply for compensation from the defendant, namely Nandu Bank, for our party. Due to Nandu Bank's erroneous judgment, our party was wrongly sentenced to 20 years imprisonment and stayed in detention for a long time. We request compensation of 200,000 yuan for our party's lost work expenses, mental damages, and reputation losses. This has been calculated in detail and is not too much. Thirdly, due to the serious damage caused by Nandu Bank to our client's reputation, we request that Nandu Bank publicly apologize to our clients, including but not limited to posting apology messages on major platforms such as Weibo and short videos for no less than 20 days. Fourthly, we request the senior management of Nandu Bank to come forward and clarify the facts, not only to exonerate the parties involved, but also to apologize to those victims who have received equal treatment at Nandu Bank. At the court hearing, the sparrows were silent. Everyone. Is this lawsuit application serious? Not only does it demand the revocation of the first and second instance judgments, but it also claims that the parties involved are innocent and innocent. All right, let's forget about it. I even applied for compensation from Nandu Bank. No, as a lawyer for a robber, you actually applied to the bank to compensate your client with 200,000 yuan for lost work, mental damage, and reputation damage. How about grabbing again every other time? Or is it clearly priced and openly contested? By comparison, the third and fourth items are already in pediatrics and are not worth discussing. During the live broadcast of the trial outside the court, not only the audience, 
but also some court personnel, lawyers, and legal practitioners who were watching the case were stunned. They originally thought that they would definitely lose this lawsuit against the Nandu court, but the impact of this live trial is so great, and the judge is a senior judge. Perhaps a reduction in sentence can be given. Overall, it was still profitable, barely winning the lawsuit. But when filing such a lawsuit, do you make a wish? I dare not make wishes like this. Sleeping slot, this lawyer. 666, brothers, playing 666 full screen, regardless of whether you win or not, this lawsuit application can be said to be unique. Perhaps it will be included in the classic case of legal litigation. Ha ha ha, damn it, 9999, 6 is reversed. I dare not make such a wish for this lawsuit request. Even if the Buddha comes, it cannot be fulfilled. Don't mock me yet. Let's hear what teacher Luo thinks. Luo Dashyang shook his head slightly and said, since the application has been submitted, there will be corresponding factual basis for the application. The lawyer's demands may seem outrageous, but the specific outcome depends on the factual basis he presents. If there is no relevant evidence, this is a false statement, which can be considered as perjury. As a lawyer, one should not make such a mistake, I'm not sure, let's keep watching. Legal Office of Nandu Bank Wang Wu frowned slightly, and Su Jiqiang beside him smiled and said. Wang Xing, this kind of lawsuit application is completely sensationalist. You can see it, but there is no factual basis or legal defense. Maybe I'll go in for perjury. At that time, our southern bank's public opinion will directly win. Wang Wu stared straight at the live broadcast of the trial. Hmm. But remember, no matter what, in this trial, our Nandu Bank must win beautifully. I understand. Su Jiqiang apologized with a smile. In court, Yu Xia frowned slightly at Su Bai's application demands. Isn't this lawsuit claim nonsense? At this moment, Li Emo couldn't help but sneer. Can the lawyer of the parties involved provide relevant factual evidence and legal defense for this lawsuit request? If it can't be taken out, you may be sentenced for obstructing justice Su Bai smiled slightly and said, it seems that this has nothing to do with the defense lawyer, right? Chief Judge, the opposing lawyer has verbally attacked me in an attempt to disrupt normal judicial progress. I request that the opposing lawyer vacate my position. Yuli Magong was about to say something, and on the judgment stand, Yu Xia frowned slightly and struck the hammer. Dong. The application is invalid, and the plaintiff's lawyer's application has been rejected. The defendant's lawyer has not yet given a speech and has given a warning. Faced with the sound of the hammer and warning, Li Mo could only hold back his anger and swallow what he was about to say. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Trial Site You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Trial Scene I Can't Bear It Anymore Liamo squinted his eyes and stared intently at Su Bai. Why is this guy so stubborn? Which law school did you come from? Not only is the lawsuit application nonsense, but now he says one sentence and is being asked to leave by the guy across from him. The meaning of leaving the court is to temporarily leave the court after having an impact on the court or the other party. It is obvious that his words just now did not interfere with the other party. But the other person is just so disgusting. Surprisingly, I applied for his resignation. Li Ma Chang took a deep breath and comforted himself, saying. The lawsuit request of the lawyer in front of us is completely unfounded and has interfered with the normal judicial process. If the other party cannot provide evidence, they will face detention or even criminal detention. Not only did he win this lawsuit directly, but he also won the public opinion battle at Nanda Bank, so there's no need to be angry. Liemo gradually calmed down. On the judgment bench, Yu Xia frowned slightly and spoke a warning. Lawyer Su Bai, as the presiding judge in court, I have an obligation to provide further confirmation. Regarding the lawsuit application you submitted, if there is no factual or legal basis as a defense, 
according to the criminal law, if you give false testimony in court, you will be prosecuted by the prosecution for the crime of false litigation and held criminally responsible in accordance with the law. Are you sure there are no issues with your lawsuit application? Li Xuezhen's nervous face on the side showed slight beads of sweat, wanting to tug at Su Bai's hem to calm him down. But Su Bai nodded seriously. Chief Judge, I know the consequences of my words being false, and I am responsible for all my statements in court. Wow! A commotion suddenly erupted in the court. Dong Dong! Please remain silent. Yu Xia struck the hammer and continued. Okay, now that you have confirmed your lawsuit application, please have the defendant Nandu Bank present their defense and lawsuit application. The opportunity to refute has arrived. As a lawyer for Nandu Bank, Li Mo straightened his body slightly and read through his defense and litigation application. Our defense opinion is as follows. Firstly, regarding the plaintiff, namely the litigant Wang Li's accusation against our Nandu Bank, the application is completely rejected, and we demand that this heinous behavior be dealt with seriously and punished severely, in order to show respect for the law. Secondly, apply to uphold the first and second instance judgments of the plaintiff's Nandu Junior Court and Nandu Intermediate Court. Thirdly, the plaintiff is required to provide full compensation of 500,000 yuan for the damage caused to our reputation. Fourthly, the plaintiff is required to bear all of our legal fees. Judge, my defense and appeal have ended. Lee Mo has completed his defense opinion and litigation request. Dong. Yu Tsaishia struck the hammer. Both parties' litigation requests have been submitted. Now, please inform the plaintiff to provide relevant legal factual basis. As Yu Tsaishia's words fell, everyone's gaze fell on Su Bai, after all, the plaintiff's lawsuit was too outrageous. Whether it was the personnel at the trial site or those who were following this live broadcast, they all turned their attention to Su Bai to see what kind of facts and legal basis he had presented. Li Xuezhen, as Su Bai's assistant, sweated nervously in her palms and said, What should lawyer Su do now? Do we have any evidence to support this? No, do we have any evidence to support it? Li Xuezhen kept flipping through the litigation materials in her hands. Su Bai. What is this saying? Are you still worried about this as an intern lawyer at a law firm? Su Bai drew the information from Li Xuezhen's hand and spoke calmly. Chief Judge, before submitting the relevant legal basis, I would like to ask my client to describe the incident at that time. Dong. The application has been approved. Now, please ask the parties involved to describe the incident at that time. Wang Li slowly stood up from the seat of the party involved. Looking at the two law enforcement officers beside him, his expression was slightly nervous. When his gaze touched Su Bai's body, his mood slightly calmed down. Your Excellency, I would like to have a drink of water. Allow. After Yu Tsaishia finished speaking, the police handed Wang Li a bottle of water. After drinking it, Wang Li's nervousness completely eased and he spoke up. The process of the incident was very simple at that time. My father was urgently in need of money in the ICU. I went to Nandu Bank to withdraw money, but the bank staff refused, saying that I was not a depositor. They even asked my father to come to the bank in person or provide evidence to prove that I was my father's son, and even a household registration book was not acceptable. I remember when I was arguing with the bank staff, a group of robbers suddenly came in and robbed the bank. One of the robbers noticed me sitting on the ground crying and gave me a portion of the stolen money. Then, I took the money and went to the hospital to pay the fee. Su Bai raised her hand. Chief Judge, I request to ask my client some detailed questions. Dong Dong. The hammer fell. Allow the party's lawyers to inquire about relevant details about the case, but do not allow inquiries about matters outside the case or guide the party's subjective intentions. Good presiding judge. After obtaining Yu Tsaishia's consent, Su Bai asked. Excuse me, did you participate in the robbery at that time? No. 
Can you provide a detailed description of how the robbers handed over the money to you at that time? Wong Li frowned slightly, trying to recall. At that time, I remember it was a short stature robber who saw me crying on the ground, hugging my head and scolding me as a coward. He said, how could I be so scared? I told him that it was because my dad was hospitalized and I couldn't retrieve the money. I was worried about my dad and that's why I cried. The robber robbed the bank apparently to save his family with money. When he heard about my situation, he took out two bundles of money and stuffed them into my arms. Su Bai continues to ask. And then what? After the robber stuffed the money into your arms, what did you do first? Wang Li quickly replied, I remember very clearly at that time. I didn't dare to take it at the first time and was very scared. Later, the robber scolded me, saying that I was an unfilial son, so I took the money. Okay. Thank you for your cooperation, Chief Judge. We have already completed the inquiry. Dong. The hammer fell. Yu Xia looked at the seat of the litigation party. The litigation lawyer has completed the inquiry, so let's start your legal interpretation. Good presiding judge. Su Bai slowly extracted the key issues raised by the first instance prosecution from the materials. Chief Judge, this is the prosecution issue and crime determination judgment raised by the Nandu Junior Court during the first instance. I believe that there are many problems and unreasonable aspects in this judgment, which has caused serious harm to our parties. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Crazy, Nandu Bank Wants to Lose You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Crazy, Nandu Bank Wants to Lose In the courtroom, everyone's gaze was focused on Su Bai. Is the judgment of the first instance unreasonable? This means to overturn the first instance judgment. The jury and the audience in the courtroom both focused on Su Bai. Even outside the live broadcast, the audience who watched the live broadcast suddenly became energized. Does this mean that I am dissatisfied with the verdict of the first instance? Do I want to overturn the legal trial of the first instance? Ha ha ha, I think it's a bit similar. Look at the meaning, it's this feeling. I won't even say, 666, now, just say, awesome. No matter what the final verdict is, I think it's very interesting just to overturn the first instance. It is possible to raise doubts about the unreasonable aspects of the first instance judgment, but to overturn it, new evidence needs to be presented for argumentation. This young lawyer seems very confident. TMD, brainless support is enough. Teacher Luo, let's talk about it. After seeing the comments, Luo Dashyang smiled slightly as he watched the live broadcast of the trial. This litigation lawyer is very skilled, at least in terms of his performance in court, he is very good. But as for how this litigation lawyer wants to overturn the result of the first instance judgment, I am not very clear at the moment. Because my attention to this case is limited to the verdict of the trial, and I am not very familiar with the files of the first and second trials, so I am unable to make a judgment, stop talking, let's just keep watching. In court. Yu Xia frowned slightly and spoke calmly, regarding the first instance judgment of the Nandu Junior Court, if the lawyer thinks there are any unreasonable aspects, they can use legal provisions to interpret and refute them. Good presiding judge, Su Bai nodded. This is the verdict of the Southern Metropolitan Court on the determination of our party's crimes as follows. The first point of the judgment is that the Nandu Primary Court accused our party, knowing that it was the money robbed by the suspect from the bank, and still chose to take it away, so it judged that our party's subjective intention was to extort money from the bank, and sentenced us to regard the party as an accomplice, or to rob the bank, committing the same crime. The second point of the judgment is that the Nandu primary court took our party, that is, Wang Li, and the suspect as the point of further confirmation. We are dissatisfied with these two judgments for the following reasons. First, just now our party has made it clear that it was the suspect who took the initiative to ask our party. The following story is somewhat complicated, and our party is calling it Wang Liben. First, 
Wang Li made it clear that it was the suspect who asked him why he was crying in the bank. After hearing about him, he offered to give him money to go to the hospital to pay for his father, who was dying in the hospital. And at the first moment, Wang Li said that his mood was worried and afraid. May I ask the presiding judge, Wang Li's immediate reaction was fear, and how could it be subjectively stated that Wang Li wanted to extort money from the bank, the first fear is Wang Li's subjective intention. One more thing, Wang Li said that the suspect scolded him. At that time, the suspect scolded Wang Li, apparently dissatisfied with his practice. The key is that the suspect is armed with dangerous weapons. One idea is likely to put Wang Li in danger. In this situation, there is no guarantee for Wang Li's life. According to the provisions of Chinese law, Wang Li meets the conditions for emergency evacuation, so he does not have to bear any criminal responsibility based on the above statement. The second point of the judgment of the Nandu Junior Court is not recognized. The judgments of the second and first trials are the same, so we apply to revoke the judgments of our party Wang Li in the first and second trials by the Nandu Junior Court and the Nandu Intermediate Court in this regard Wow. A commotion erupted at the trial site. Everyone was taken aback by the sharp question raised by Su Bai, and then someone read it seriously and looked at Su Bai with admiration in their eyes. Wang Li's eyes also lit up. He is not guilty. Is there any help? Don't go to jail anymore. Nandu Bank is going to lose. Great. The marriage counseling lawyer my parents found, the criminal lawyer, is really amazing. Li Xuezhen also breathed a sigh of relief, looking at Su Bai with a hint of admiration in her eyes. The hope of winning such a lawsuit is amazing. It's truly me. My taste in choosing a law firm is amazing. At the same time, Wang Wu's face was gloomy and terrifying as he looked coldly at Su Jiqiang, the head of the legal department, in the legal office of Nandu Bank. Minister Su, didn't you promise me that you could win? But now what's going on? Not only did they fail to increase the sentence, but they also made the other party apply for innocence. If the other party really wins the lawsuit, do you know what kind of consequences and losses it will cause to our bank? At that time, your legal department will all pack up and leave. Su Jiqiang quickly put on a smile and said, President Wang, don't worry yet. This case is not over yet. The other party's lawyer has two tricks, but our bank's legal affairs are not for the sake of wasting bank money and letting the bank take care of it. There is indeed no problem with the two points raised by the other party's lawyer, but there are several points in the first instance judgment, and the remaining points are the most crucial. Don't believe it, you see. Su Jiqiang took out the file of the first instance verdict, and Wang Wu glanced at it before snorting coldly, it's best not to show any tricks. Yes, it's what President Wang said. Su Jiqiang quickly apologized with a smile. Wang Wu was so angry that he simply stopped watching it and said, you should keep an eye on this live broadcast. If you have any issues, come and report to me. I was very annoyed watching it. Remember, we can't lose this lawsuit. Definitely. You can rest assured, President Wang. After Wang Wu left the office, Su Jiqiang took a long breath and wiped the sweat off his forehead. Wang Wu was under a bit of pressure in the presence just now. For this lawsuit, as the Minister of Justice, he can't understand it anymore and will definitely win. But when he saw the other party's lawyer, Su Jiqiang suddenly had an idea in his mind for some reason. What if the other party wins? Su Jiqiang, who had reacted, immediately slapped himself. It was impossible, the other party was an unknown lawyer from a small law firm. How could they possibly win? In court. Su Bai looked at Yu Xiao. The presiding judge has completed our statement. Yu Xiao nodded slightly and looked at Li Mo. Is there anything else that Nandu Bank and the prosecutor need to add? Li Mo gritted his teeth and looked at Su Bai. This Su Bai is really ridiculous. It's only two points in advance and the subsequent judgments are not mentioned at all, right? 
Liam O raised his hand. Judge, I have a question. End of this chapter. 10. How can banks prove that their money belongs to themselves? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10. How can banks prove that their money belongs to themselves? Liam O raised his hand and applied to the presiding judge. Yutsai Xia looked towards the defendant, which was Li Mo's direction. If the defendant's lawyer has any questions, they can raise them in court. Li Mo took a deep breath and withdrew the verdict of the first instance. Chief Judge, I apply to reject the statement of the plaintiff's lawyer. Reason for application Li Mo handed the first instance verdict in his hand to the staff nearby, and when he saw Yutsai Xia holding it, he spoke seriously. Just now, the plaintiff's lawyer, also known as by Jun Law Firm's lawyer Su Bai, disagreed with the judgment of the Nandu Junior Court in the first instance and stated the corresponding reasons. However, the plaintiff's lawyer Su Bai avoided the importance and only talked about the first two points of the judgment, intentionally ignoring the latter points. The third point of the judgment is that the Nandu Junior Court found that Wang Li, knowing that it was a bank property, still chose to use this property to go to the hospital for payment. The party involved, Wang Li, made it very clear in his previous statement that after leaving the bank, he had already escaped danger and still chose to take the money to the hospital to pay the fees. Based on this, it can be determined that this is Wang Li's subjective judgment. Instead of the plaintiff's lawyer Su Bai, who described Wang Li as in an emergency situation, I would like to ask the plaintiff's lawyer, why did your client choose to go to the hospital when they were aware that it was bank property instead of calling the police to hand in the bank money? Or, to put it simply, wait until you arrive at a safe location before returning the money. But Wang Li happened to engage in the behavior of using the money to go to the hospital for payment. This indicates. Firstly, he knew that the money was stolen from the bank. Secondly, even if the kidnappers threatened him, at the time of leaving the bank, Wang Li had already escaped danger and did not constitute an emergency shelter. Isn't the combination of the two subjectively equivalent to grabbing money from the bank to save one's father? Of course, I know this is human nature, and I do not deny Wang Li's emotional concern and love for his father. But from a factual and legal perspective, there is no problem with Wang Li's judgment, judge, my statement is complete. After Li Mo finished speaking, he glanced in the direction of Su Bai, and the last paragraph was added by him on the spot. He also knows that this case has a significant impact on public opinion, so he must pay attention to the influence of public opinion while winning the lawsuit. Otherwise, if we wait until the case ends and win, the reputation of Nandu Bank will also cause great damage. Yutsai Xia nodded slightly. Do the plaintiff have any opinions or different viewpoints regarding the defendant's counterclaim? Li Mo gave Su Bai a provocative glance. The corners of Su Bai's mouth slightly curled up, it was this moment he was waiting for. When we brought down Nandu Bank, it had already arrived. Chief Judge, I have no objections to the defendant's point of view. The defendant's lawyer is correct based on his viewpoint but there is one point that the defendant's lawyer overlooked. I would like to ask the defendant lawyer, how do you determine that the money in Wang Li's hand belongs to a bank? Is there any evidence to suggest that the money belongs to a bank? The defendant's lawyer has also said that it was our client Wang Li who went to the hospital with bank money to pay the relevant fees. Therefore, our client Wang Li's subjective intention was judged. However, how can this money prove to be from the bank? Su Bai's counter-questioning confused Li Mo directly. What does this mean? What does it mean to prove that bank money belongs to a bank? This TM question is a bit outrageous, isn't it? Not only Li Mo was stunned, but many members of the hearing at the trial also didn't understand. How could this be? TMD is really amazing. Such a tricky question can be raised. The audience who watched the live broadcast of the trial also froze for a few seconds. Ha ha ha, what does that mean? Let the bank prove that the bank's money belongs to the bank, damn it. This lawyer has something to do. Cowhide. 
This lawsuit has already embarked on a trend that I don't know about. I feel like my head has been damaged. Isn't this lawsuit about Wang Li shouldn't it be mainly about Wang Li's sentence reduction? The bank is the attacking party. Why is Wang Li's lawyer so aggressive now? I'm not sure, but I feel like this lawsuit is too interesting. Isn't it more exciting than Bo Ren Ran? It looks a bit satisfying, I don't quite understand. Let's turn around and listen to what Teacher Luo is saying. In court. Su Bai's tricky question immediately silenced Lee Mogan, and for a moment, he couldn't figure out what Su Bai was thinking. From a questioning perspective, Su Bai's questioning did not have any problems. But from a factual perspective, the money that the robbers snatched from the bank was not from the bank, could it have fallen from the sky? And Li Xuezhen looked at Su Bai Rua thoughtfully, as if she understood something. Dong Dong Dong. Yu Tsai Xia struck the hammer and calmly looked at Su Bai, is there any evidence or legal basis to support the plaintiff's lawyer's statement? Some presiding judges. Su Bai drew out a file material for the first trial. Chief Judge, this is the evidence provided by the prosecution during the first instance. According to the evidence submitted by the prosecution, the bank was in chaos at that time. The robbers not only robbed the bank's internal funds, but also robbed customers who were processing withdrawal transactions at the bank, mixing them in burlap bags. According to surveillance cameras, the robber who gave Wang Li money took two bundles of cash from the burlap bags. It's impossible to distinguish whether these two bundles of cash were stolen from the bank or from customers who have already withdrawn the money and are preparing to leave. How can the bank prove that the money belongs to the bank? If authentication is not possible, the bank cannot determine that our party was involved in the bank robbery. The money was indeed obtained through robbery, but not through our party's robbery. If the robber hands over the money to our party, it can be considered as unjust enrichment at most. Therefore, we kindly request that Nandu Bank prove that the money belongs to the bank. Everyone on site. Can it still be like this? Yu Xia frowned slightly. As the presiding judge for so many years, she had tried hundreds of cases. This time, the Wang Li robbery case had a huge social impact, and the court president appointed her as the presiding judge. But this case was the first time she had seen the process so convoluted and the questions asked so outrageous. But everything was within the scope of the court's procedures, and Yu Xia had no significant emotional bias and looked towards the bank. Is there any evidence to refute the questions raised by the plaintiff's lawyer by the bank, or to object to them based on legal provisions? Li Mo's lungs were about to explode at this moment. TMD 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 When will the bank need to prove that the bank's money belongs to the bank? End of this chapter